Biblical numerology, one, logos, the energy of God. Two, body and soul, the relationship between you and God. Three, new life, new beginnings, creation. Jesus was in the tomb three days. Jonah was in the well's belly three days. Four, your fourfold nature, physical, spiritual, emotional, and intellectual. Five is about sacrifice. It's also about change, but mainly in the Bible, sacrifice. And sacrificing not your actual life, but sacrificing your five senses. That is why Jesus says, take no thought five times in Matthew chapter six, inviting everyone to meditate. That's what it means, fives. Okay, six is doctrine and the need to overthrow the doctrine and basically turn water into wine by getting rid of the old and replacing it with the new actual communion with spirit versus just reading about it and talking about it because that doesn't work. Seven, favorite divine intervention, the number of spirit representing our chakras, representing the energy of miracles and 777 means god if you see 777 888 is jesus they're a little bit different the numbers 888 that's the value of jesus in greek the eights are about rupture as well so it could represent jesus or it could represent something about to blow it can also represent the sun nine consciousness is the most important number in the bible that is why jesus said cast your net to the right side and they caught 153 fish one plus five plus three is nine also 666 reduces to nine cubits things in the bible are measured in cubits because <laughs> because it equals nine and also how many we saved 144,000, which equals nine okay